All right, it is a quiet evening right now. Temperatures at 79. Uh, we hit highs in the 80s today. Winds are calm right now, and the humidity still in check, at least for the afternoon, uh, did not make it feel too uncomfortable. Let's uh, talk about the king tides that are coming up for the weekend. In fact, the peak of the king tides themselves coming in with a full moon, Hunter's Moon, on Sunday. And uh, we're going to continue with these cycles. Got a new moon, October 25th, and then November 8th. But this will be the highest, and so the highest flooding threat uh, will accompany that. For the next few days, we're going to continue with what we've basically seen here, more tidal flooding as we head into the 6 a.m. hour, 629, particularly here in Key West. Uh, we have minor flooding on the way, and then we have flood advisories here for minor to moderate flooding. That's from Marathon heading up towards the Key Largo, and then for coastal Broward and Miami-Dade, also a problem for uh, tomorrow morning. This has been just an issue we've been dealing with now for a week, and it's just going to basically peak as we head into the weekend approaching uh, that full moon. So keep that in mind. This is saltwater flooding. We're not talking about uh, rainfall. In fact, just a few showers. This is about as much action as an uh, X-Radar network has seen in a few days here. North to south, you can still see the movement here, the flow coming in from the north, and that's basically brought all the dry air from that, uh, well, the remnants of Ian still in the mid-Atlantic on the backside of that counterclockwise flow. Get this uh, dry condition. A couple of showers here right along the Broward Coast the next few minutes, but not amounting to much. In fact, done with Tuesday, heading into Wednesday and Friday, easterly flow will bring us a few more low level showers not going to last all that long but into the weekend we are going to tap into a more significant tropical air mass here and that is going to be top to bottom atmosphere so that's going to set us up for afternoon showers and thunderstorms saturday heading into sunday nothing we can't dodge it's going to be a fine weekend here but uh, it's certainly going to be wetter than we've uh, been used to the last few days there's that east flow continuing to come in that's also going to begin to raise our humidity so it's not going to be as uh, comfortable setting us up for a bigger storm chance into the weekend. So we have our tropical wave with a high chance here. And then, of course, as we talked about, tropical depression 12, that's going nowhere, headed to the north and west over the next few days. And we'll keep watching this disturbed area there. Hurricane Hunter's not finding a circulation, so not a depression yet. Likely to become one, though, and then it heads towards Central America by this weekend into next week uh, with heavy rain, perhaps strong winds. Some of the models depicting this as a stronger system here, so we'll watch that closely as we head into the next uh, seven days through the weekend. There's our rain chance coming up 40, 50% Saturday, Sunday, and into early next week. We'll be right back.